What's up, everybody? Uh, this is going to be one a one of a series of tutorials uh, where I show you how to make a responsive uh, magento theme. And you know, I kind of looked everywhere and I noticed that you know nobody's really talking about how to create responsive themes for magento. Like literally nobody. I mean, there's a theme development and you know support for that. Uh, but nothing as far as responsive goes and responsive design is uh, you know fairly easy for any other site with Magento it becomes uh, a lot more complicated uh, you're gonna have to learn about file structure things like that but while I also do these uh, tutorials I'm also going to show you uh, some best practices some uh, ways to you know decrease the amount of time it takes for certain things, and some habits that I get into uh, that help me develop along the way. And uh, you're probably going to learn a lot. I do this for uh, roughly 45 hours per week. So uh, right here I have a uh, uh, fresh installation of Magento. And the only things I've done to this was I created a sample category and under that sample category I have a sample product so that's just about all that I have and we're going to pretty much be creating a ridiculously good theme based on this right now we're just dealing with Magento's standard shit so um, I guess we'll dive right in uh, I'm going to assume that you don't have that much uh, knowledge of Magento, just so uh, you know. So I'm gonna be giving you some things, and you might say, "Oh, well, I already know this. This is amateur stuff." But uh, it's really for everybody. Okay, fuck that. All right. So uh, first thing I'm gonna show you is the fact that this page is comprised of a lot of files. And to show you that, um, what I'll do here, and this is what I'll do at first, let's go to System and then go to Configuration. Let that load, and once you're there, switch to Default Store View. And once you're in the default store view, uh, you can scroll down to developer. And once you're there, you can turn on uh, what's called template path hints. I'm going to go ahead and go to yes, go to save configuration. Okay. Now once I refresh, it's going to show in red all the files that are being pulled in here. So here's a uh, file that's being pulled in, here's another file, here's another file. Uh, one thing that you really need to do with uh, Magento is know where things are. And that's exactly what template path hints will help you do. Uh, so yeah, all of these are different files being pulled in. Now I'm going to go ahead and, and disable that for now because there's a much better way of going about this. Uh, template path hints is fine and what is pretty nifty is that the uh, you can have it so that you can put your own IP address in that way your customers don't see the template path hints when you're working on the site only you would see them. But it's still not so much fun to actually go back here, turn them on, off, uh, and, you know, if you're working with a team that's in the same place and you all have the same IP, uh, you know, then one person might say, oh, well, do you mind if I turn off the template path hints? I can't see this thing or this thing. So uh, they might be working on search or CSS or something like that. So let me go ahead and refresh this. One extension that I really recommend that you start using 
is called Easy Template Path Hints. It's free. Uh, you can Google Easy Template Path Hints and you'll find it uh, very quickly. And basically, I, you come here, uh, fill in your order information, and uh, you'll eventually get uh, an email with a link and you can download it from there. So, to install this in, uh, extension, you pretty much go right here, and this extension only has one folder called app, and you go ahead and you uh, drag that to the root directory of your uh, of your site. So, basically, since this is a fresh instance, uh, you would take this app and just drag it in, and uh, it won't really overwrite anything, it'll just include itself. Um, very powerful, and I'll show you why. I've already installed it here. Let me go ahead, let me go get out of default store, just go to default config, and go to easy template path hints. Okay, and basically you create your access code here. I named it hints. And basically what you do is you have this and then whatever code that you entered above and you copy and paste that. Now this is what I'm talking about when I refer to best practices and making things a lot easier on yourself. Uh, what I do is I take this string and I literally at work I come here and I'll just because I don't want to memorize that shit and I don't feel like typing it every time so you can literally copy this code and just append it to the uh, URL and bam I get my template path hints just like that uh, nobody else ever has to see them if I want to turn them back off I just get rid of this here and they're back off now I'm gonna turn them on uh, just to show you a little bit about Magento file structure because that's one of the most important things that you're gonna need to learn okay here I have my uh, Magento installation here now it's pretty overwhelming if you haven't uh, jumped into the files here but the main files or main folders that I want you to look at are app, JS, and skin. App is going to have all your template files, all everything that comprises of, you know, this uh, page. So everything here, this head.phtml, uh, header.phtml, the majority of the files being pulled in are from app. Uh, JS is simply, you know, a library for JavaScript. Uh, you know, whatever you have uh, in regards to extensions, things like that. And then skin is basically where you put your CSS. So just remember app, JS, and skin. Now, here's a bit about file structure, and I'll be showing you this here. Um, let me go ahead and I'm going to go to design. Okay. Now notice how in themes I don't have anything filled in here. Nothing. Uh, so basically it's using Magento's default shit. Now this is where uh, knowing about the file structure uh, helps. As I mentioned, uh, app is one of the big folders that you want to be looking at so if you go to app design and it's the, di the uh, design for the front end you can see we have base here so app design front end base you you'll memorize these uh, pretty quickly and notice if I come here everything's coming from base app design front end base app design front end base and the way that this will work is you don't want to touch the base files. Instead, what Magento allows you to do, and is very smart on their part, 
is instead of base there is default and under default there's another default so basically what happens is if something is not found in default default then <clears throat> magenta looks to base so the reason for this is say you're writing something in default default and uh, you happen to mess up you can just delete that file and it'll revert back to grabbing the base file now what we're going to be doing is creating a custom theme so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take what we have in yeah I'll take what we have over here so app design front end base and we want to take the template and the layout files here and from there we're going to create a uh, new folder so new folder and this will name the folder of our custom theme so I'm just going to call it custom theme right there and I'm going to go ahead and paste pretty much everything from base into my custom theme so all the template files which there's a ton of them but what I did was I created this custom theme so now if something is not found in my custom theme or if a file is not found in the custom theme then it'll resort to trying to find it in default if it doesn't find it in default it'll try to find it in base so every time you really want to make a change you kind of want to take the files out of base and put them into your own theme now now that that's done there in the app folder I'm also going to do the same in the skin folder so there's going to be skin front end default default and that's where the CSS is going to be dragged in so uh, I'm just going to copy these copy 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 that's not letting me copy whatever now well basically here I'm going to add a folder called custom theme again uh, new folder new folder called custom theme and in there I'm going to paste so now instead of uh, the website getting its CSS from default default it's going to be getting it from custom theme now where do I tell the website how to do this well it's going to be right here in the theme I'm just going to name the theme custom theme right here and then it knows to pull from that folder so I'm going to go ahead and save now I have uh, caching disabled so I won't have to refresh any cache if you have caching turned on it may give you a little message so I'm going to go back to the home page and now you can see everything's loading from front end base front end base all over like I showed you before uh, I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page and now all the files are being pulled in from default custom theme uh, if I take for example this file out of my custom theme it'll just resort to pulling in from base uh, so the trick here is uh, here's the file structure app design front end default theme name so whatever your theme name is now if it doesn't find a file in your theme name uh, then it'll look for the file in app design front end default default if it doesn't find it in default default it's going to go to the base files which is app design front end default base the file structure and the directories are not as 
uh, friendly as uh, WordPress might be, but this is the main thing to understand when you are uh, looking at a Magento uh, template and file structure. If it's not here, then it's going to look for here, and if it's not there, it's going to look for there. So that's the main thing to take out of this lesson. Uh, try to uh, create your own custom theme folder. Uh, see if you can just replicate what I did. And after that, we can start diving in, and we'll probably look at a few more interesting things. Uh, so until next time, thanks for watching. And trying to... Okay, there we go.